Hello friends, I am Dr. Anupama Goel. I am working as a lecturer in Biani College of Science and Management, Kalwar in the subject Botany. I welcome you all on behalf of Guru KPO and today I am going to deliver my lecture on the Elga Ectocarpus. Well my friends, as all of you are aware that Ectocarpus, that Ectocarpus is cosmopolitan in distribution. It is found to be growing along the Pacific coast and the Atlantic coast of the ocean. Now some of the species of Ectocarpus, they are growing on the fins of the fishes and these species are epizoic species and the example is Ectocarpus fasciculatus. Now some of the species of the Ectocarpus, they grow on the larger algae such as Fucus and Laminaria and these are called the epiphytic species of the Ectocarpus. Now my friends, I move to the thallus as you see in the diagram, well the thallus of the Ectocarpus is heterotrichus in nature. It consists of a prostrate rhizoidal system and an erect system. The erect part of the thallus, my friends, is irregularly branched and the filaments are monosiphonous. That is one cell in thickness. Now I move towards the cell structure as you are seeing the diagram where the cells are cylindrical, uninucleate or rectangular in outline. Now my dear friends, the cell wall is differentiated into an outer gelatinous layer and an inner cellulosic layer. Now the gelatinous layer contains two substances called as algin and fucoidin. Now my dear friends, the cell contains a central large nucleus and many discoid or band shaped chromatophores inside which there is a single projected pyrenoid. Now friends, I take the example of the pigments well in Ectocarpus. The pigments found are chlorophyll A, chlorophyll C, Genthophil. Because of the presence of genthophil pigment in a large amount, this alga means Ectocarpus appears brownish in color and it is placed in the class Pheophysi. Now friends, the cell also contains cytoplasm. Inside the cytoplasm, there are vacuoles containing polyphenol compounds and these vacuoles having the polyphenol compounds are called as physodes. Now friends, I move towards the asexual reproduction in ectocarpus. Well, it occurs by means of biflagellate juice spores and the plant body or the diploid or sporophytic plant body of the ectocarpus consists of two types of sporangia that is Plurilocular sporangia means a neutral sporangia or the unilocular sporangia. Now friends, as you are seeing in the diagram, I take up the development of the unilocular sporangium in Ectocarpus. Then the terminal cell of the branchlet becomes enlarged in size and it functions as a sporangial initial. This, the deployed nucleus of the sporangial initials now undergoes mitotic and meiotic divisions to form 32 or 64 haploid nuclei as is well clear from the diagram. Now these nuclear divisions are not accompanied by fall formation and the protoplast of this sporangium gets divided into uninucleate segments and each of these uninucleate segments gets metamorphosed into a biflagellate pyriform spore which is having a chromatophore and an eye spot. Later on, these juice spores, they ooze out from the sporangium and they get attached to the substratum and withdraw their flagella. Then after two or three hours, these juice spores, they germinate to form a diploid thallus. Now my dear friends, I move towards the development of the plurilocular sporangium in Ectocarpus. As you are seeing the diagram, this in this, the apical cell or the terminal cell of the sporangium gets enlarged and many chromatophores get accumulated in this terminal cell so it functions as the sporangial initial. Now my friends, this sporangial initial undergoes many vertical as well as transverse divisions so that or as a result of which a large number of means 606 660 cubical cells are formed each of the cubical cell then gives rise to a diploid 
by president jew sports these jew sports are liberated from the sport engine by the formation of an apical pore now i move towards the sexual reproduction well it occurs in three manner it may be isogamous and isogamous of physiologically and isogamous well friends in ectocarpus secundus two types of gametangia are found macrogametangia as well as microgametangia in the macrogametangia as the name suggests macrogametes are formed and in the microgametangia microgametes are formed these gametes of unequal sizes they fuse in pairs to form the gyrospores now i take the example of ectocarpus silliculosus in this physiological and isogamy is found means the gametes are similar morphologically but these gametes are distinct physiologically the strains which are more active these are called as a male gametes and the strains which are less active or which are passive these are called as female gametes now i am summing up my lecture while moving towards fertilization when the female gamete which is passive it secretes a volatile substance called as sirenin as you see on the board and now a number of male gametes they are attracted by this substance sirenin and they cluster themselves around the single female gamete now these male gametes they attach to the female gamete by the anterior long flagellum then my friends the flagellum or one of the male gamete contracts and comes in close contact with the female gamete now the male gamete fuses with the female gamete to form the gyrospore then my friends rest of the male gametes they detach from the female gamete which is passive and they swim away now there is a germination of the gyrospore this gyrospore germinates to give rise to a diploid thallus means its diploid nucleus divides mitotically and forms a diploid thallus on which are born unilocular sporangia as well as plurilocular sporangia thus my friends ectocarpus is a very good example of isomorphic alternation of generation thank you for more details kindly visit my website www.brookapo.com